this is the third series that I start reviewing when it's at the final arc. <sighs> I gotta learn my timing. The sea has planted for a long time, but it has finally bloomed. The moment of revenge for Tanjiro is here and is about to get deadly. Akaza and Tanjiro is official. Will Tanjiro win and avenge his beloved pillar, Rengoku? From what we have seen here, there's hope. This was a damn good chapter that reminds us the stakes are high and Tanjiro can't afford to lose for more reasons than one. Recalling a couple of chapters ago, a new set of Ubuyashiki members took over the work to fulfill the mission to end Muzan. They didn't show any emotion to their tragic losses because they were prepared for it at any time. Easier said than done. One of the younger sisters couldn't resist but cry for her family's death. It's seriously heartbreaking. Poor girl. Kiria keeps his head up and tell her to keep focusing on mapping. It sounds harsh, but with context, he is also hurt by their sacrifice. He's just strong at holding back his emotions. All former pillars are protecting the location of Nezuko. That includes Rengoku Sr. A good time to come out, out of retirement. Tengen praised Kiria for his effort to work and carrying the tough situation, let alone his emotions. It is amazing that they filled in and adjusted to his system. Prepared at his best. Rengoku Sr. can understand this because children is practically the next generation ready to fill in. Like his son Kyojuro, he is willing to risk his life for them. It's still painful that he's gone. You could tell the father is still emotionally hurt from his loss. If he can't avenge his son, Tanjiro must do it. The other former pillar, Sakoniji, is inside with Nezuko. Essentially, this becomes a really good calm before storm scene. To begin with, Nezuko has taken the medicine from Tamayo. Supposedly, it would change her back to human. Will it work? While the arc is, at the moment, said to be the final arc, maybe it will? The series could end dark in some ways, so you never know. For now, she's suffering pretty badly. It's hard to say that the medicine takes time to change her or not working at all. Needless to say, the latter will be bad news. There's a lot of stakes on the line with this war. Hell, it's likely on this very night. Sakoniji has chills just by thinking about it. If Nezuko turns human, Muzan is screwed. Otherwise, they will be the one that's done for. He can't help but feel that this is the end game. Well, if it's truly the final arc, he sure nailed it. I did chuck out the word end game. I don't know if the translator tried to be funny or not, but that word is going to be the most trendy word of the year. Joking aside, it all comes down to those two kids. Tanjiro was a boy that didn't have sword experience. He has come a long way. Nezuko, despite being a demon, has helped more than any demon has, and he wants to save her by believing a chance to change her back to human. It's rather inspiring to say the least. They're like the cogs that finally make the machine turn. They're the pieces that drive hope to the light. The fate relies on them. That's pretty heavy to carry. But not only has it shed this arc as the end all be all, but it also hype up Tanjiro's current battle. What a hell of a start! The battle has been hyped for a while, so this has to deliver. So far, it's going really well. With his tense action set piece, I got chills with his intense sequences of a combat bit by bit. We don't know how good Tanjiro has really gotten, but man. Did his performance have me compel? That fire wheel was a smooth yet risky move. He's betting it heavily to cut his arm. Does it succeed? 
With the amount of anticipation, it got me nearly doubtful. But praise the fire, it is a success. It felt so rewarding, even when it's not over, let alone not cutting his head. Still, the reaction scenes was worth it. Right before he was about to make another move, Akaza is already doing a backhanded swing. It had me gasping like, oh shit, to think I underestimated Tanjiro for a moment. Because in a matter of a second, he reacts with Moxon Rainbow. What a slick last second counter. Not only he dodged it, but he also sliced Akaza's face. That one set piece was a hell of a way to start. Not to mention, what a hell of a performance from Tanjiro. The boy has really grown. In fact, it's time for the characters to praise him. Giyu wasn't knocked away or anything. He's standing there being amazed by Tanjiro's greatness. He couldn't believe that this is the same boy who was on his knee, hopeless, back in chapter 1. Not only he praised him for his great effort, but he thinks he's worthy enough to be considered a pillar. Oh, now I want the final arc news to be a lie. We'll see. Anyway, it's satisfying to see how much he has grown. If Giyu's praise wasn't enough, even Akaza, their demon enemy, praised him. Tanjiro's performance was so damn good, he has earned Akaza's respect. I know earning respect from an upper moon isn't exactly worth gloating for, but in terms of writing context, it says a lot. Also, it shows Akaza not gullible to take anyone lightly, even mentioning Rengoku's words about the kids of the future. That all said, he's going to throw a celebration for his achievement by going all out. Hooray? Seriously? This is going to be good. This was a damn good chapter that built the anticipation of this battle as well as the end game. It depends on the pillars, Tamoyo keeping Muzan frozen despite his cocoon form, and Nezuko turning back to human. It's a lot of stakes on the line. Tanjiro vs Akaza is looking to be promising with this gripping first exchange thanks to the stellar visual sequence that caught my complete attention. The battle is now heating up. The hype is real. Make us proud, Tanjiro. And now we're doing it for the review. I hope you enjoyed this one. From what I heard, the pre-screening is sold out. That's great to hear. It's still strange how this series is ending in this arc. Not to say it's really that out of the realm of possibility. I can see it happening. But if it's the editor's choice, why would you let this end? Now if it's the manga's choice, it is fine. Because that is her decision. And if she feels best to end it here, then so be it. I can respect that. Otherwise, they will be missing out the marketing machine. And yeah, that does sound like a bad thing. Because let's face it, when it comes to going on forever and ever, it will lose its quality. So maybe it's best to end it right here, right now. But we'll see. We'll see. What do you think of the chapter? Share your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel and my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care.